Hey, welcome to Flexible Dieting Consultants. I'm Asher. This is going to be a video to tackle two birds with one stone. First, finding a quick and easy breakfast solution, and two, getting your micronutrients in, taking care of your body and overall health. So, weekend breakfast is awesome. Everyone loves it. It's leisurely, it's decadent. We're not talking about this. We're talking about weekday, I'm running around with one sock on, I got a cup of coffee in my hand, and I need to be out the door in 90 seconds. And also, a lot of us just don't like a lumbering breakfast first thing in the morning. Our second problem is micronutrients. Now, I'm not a big salad guy, I think a lot of you are in the same boat, but I listen to nutritionists and I listen to doctors about the importance of non-energy components to food, and so what I found, and this is the trick, I don't mind drinking vegetables. So the blender ends up being our solution for an easy breakfast that you can drink in your car while you're doing your makeup, and for meat and potato people like me, you hate micronutrients, get them out of the way early in the day, and then you're not trying to juggle in vegetables with your regular meals at lunch and dinner and your snacks in between. And that's our aim at Flexible Dieting Consultants. For us too, track, monitor, and manage the macronutrient intake, and then make one impactful decision at a time to slowly move the athlete away from, hey, I can hit my macros via the draft your window, to a sustainable lifestyle with healthier choices. So making pizza, burgers, and ice cream, the occasional treat, you know, weekend activity, rather than the main staples of an athlete's diet. So I'm going to show you how you can hit a chunk of your macros for the day, avoid that lumberjack breakfast, and address the non-energy component of your nutrition. So I'll take you through my morning smoothie. I got a few staples that I always use, and then I typically buy what's on sale in the produce section of the grocery store. Keep in mind, the things that are on sale are generally pretty close to their expiration date, so when I get home, I generally cut the stuff up and freeze it, so I just don't end up with uh, real rotten fruits and vegetables that I paid for. So uh, right now, this is what I'm using. Uh, I got 90 grams of fat-free Greek yogurt as a base. I've got 80 grams of frozen banana, so I buy the bananas, chop them up when I get home. I've got 80 grams of frozen spinach. I'll buy spinach, uh, fresh spinach or kale if it's on sale, but otherwise I'll just go with the frozen stuff. I'm going to use half a serving or 21 grams of vanilla whey protein. I'm going to use 80 grams of fresh beets. 60 grams of mango, I've got 5 grams of creatine, I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon also of garam masala, so this is like Indian cookie spice, and most importantly, it has nutmeg and cinnamon in here, uh, which are two ingredients that I wanted to get in for the health benefits. I've got a clementine. And then I'm going to use 25 grams of oats. This is a great way for people that have trouble getting calories in to get a good source of carbohydrate. Uh, and it's a lot easier to drink these rather than cooking them all the way. I'm going to use one ounce or 28 grams of raw almonds. And then I've got a little mixture here, which is equal parts uh, cold milled flax and chia seeds. I'm going to use 10 grams of each. And I add that to my smoothies every morning. So once I have it all blended up, I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the finished product. This is 72 carbs, 41 protein, 21 fat. It's also got 23 grams of fiber, so I'm already two thirds of the way there. So that's our two birds with one stone solution for hitting your micronutrients and doing the things to promote overall health with your body. And on the flip side, having something fast, quick and easy, repeatable before you get out the door. It's 100% customizable depending on what sort of macros you're trying to hit with that meal and depending on what you have in your refrigerator, what's on sale at the grocery store. Thanks for being with us and we'll see you next time.